What's up guys? Welcome back to Project Ascension. Today we're checking out another build. Today we are checking out the Frozen Chaos Mystic Enchant. This one relies on a couple of Frozen abilities from Mage Tree. And uh, that's going to also be the Frost Shock from the Shaman Tree. And then that's also going to need the Chaos Bolt. So a couple of those Ice abilities, when you get crits, you'll basically get some empowerments for some other abilities like your Chaos Bolt. Chaos Bolt also hits multiple targets, as well as a little bit of a damage a little dot and a an extra charged based chaos bolt system with up to 30 extra damage actually does 30 more 30 percent more damage not up to so that's going to be a big bonus there um and so yeah we'll see how it fans out we got a couple little things so far intellect um we still have to reset some of these other ones i didn't find anything yet pendulum's pretty good dream state some regen um and looter guidance so nothing too crazy yet but we're gonna try to work it in as we level up we also got a little pot that we got with some bizarre tokens they're about three gold each so i got 125 for like three something wasn't too bad uh this little potion's i think like 35 so uh about 90 gold for that which it really isn't bad at all if you think about it um so yeah we're just gonna get started and see what kind of abilities we can get um pick some of these sickle cards we'll reset all these guys and we will get on our journey so, so far, we start with the Frostbolt. We definitely need that. We got Brilliance Aura for some extra mana regen. That was faster than the Conjurer food, so I thought about this. Be a little bit more, um, keep up the uh, pace instead of having to stop for food every few minutes, for, for water anyways. Arcane Intellect for extra intellect, and then also the Blessing of Wisdom to hopefully help with the mana regen. I know sometimes that gets a little bit much. Um, and we also went with Intellect, of course. Some of the skill cards that we picked were Cone of Cold and Ice Lance for the Lucky. And the primary ones we need are the chaos bolt of course we went in molten armor i think that would be good for the crit um holy light just what i had that i could throw in there guys we made it to level 70 we got some cool looking gear on here these uh the bear man pulls are wolves pretty cool looking we got this cool looking staff as well uh we got some yeah some pretty decent gear we got our talents here we got moon conform let's pop that up um a couple other little things here and there some extra damage a lot in the mage tree of course and the frost specifically there is a couple things in the shaman tree. We've got the priest tree down here, enlightenment. This is a nice ability. Spirit, intellect, and spell haste by 3%. That's a pretty big talent there. Um, some extra haste and hit and some other stuff here and there. The only thing that we are severely lacking, which I think is why the damage isn't as good as I was expecting, is the conflagrate. There it is. It's a, actually a talent. Okay, that's weird. That's why I couldn't find it. Um, yeah, so that is important because we need that to proc our multi-shot on our Karis Bolt. I'll show you the enchant again. That gives you the uh, Splintered Chaos, which I realize that's why it's not working. And uh, so yeah, that kind of sucks. We haven't gotten that yet. But for the enchants, we got the uh, Intellect, some Stamina. Just That was kind of just a placeholder. Some extra regens. The Pendulum, which is really good. Shatter. This one sometimes it's really good but sometimes the server because i'm in the us is like a eu server sometimes it kind of like lags a little bit um this is pretty good especially for pvp and then some extra damage here and this one less than 35 percent health so nothing too crazy just what mainly what i had um but the build is pretty fun with this frost aspect so that was just a regular frost bolt that goes anywhere from like 15 to two to three thousand if i get a crit or something and then it gets my fingers of frost and the frozen chaos well, then also with that that mystic enchant i have if i combine that with the ice lance as soon as it casts as long as it gets there see that one lagged and that was a that was almost a second delay there but if it can get there before the frost bolt does it does a ton of extra damage and see that one took a while too yeah so um the ping right now isn't too bad but about 100 ping yeah so it definitely noticeable in battlegrounds a lot more like that's almost half a second there probably and that's kind of a bummer because that would be a lot better. Um, we got the Frost Shock, which is really strong, surprisingly. And then once we get a bunch of stacks of these, we usually drop our Chaos Bolt. And they're really not that great on their own. Like, they're around 20, 27, 28. Um, when they crit, they're definitely nice because they're like 5 to 6 area. Um, but I think the nice thing about this build here is the Conflagrate. When you use that, it gives your Chaos Bolt to hit multiple enemies. And that would do a lot more damage, especially in a BG with a bunch of people or in like a dungeon. Um, other than that, we got a couple healing abilities here. This flash shield comes in handy. It's quick. It's sufficient. Um, the mana is an issue. We got almost 13,000. We got this, and this is also talented with a couple things. Um, we just picked this up. We haven't used that yet. A scream, a faster frostbolt in case we need it too slow. Some healing. 
Um, a couple of random totems here. We got flight form. We even can't we use it. Um, living bomb is nice because it's just an instant cast. Um, the hand of Gul'dan is pretty cool. I haven't really used this one too much, but it's a nice little ability. This molten armor is good because it gives you extra crit. We got the ice block. We just rolled that, and then a couple buffs here and there. Um, the power ward shield is nice, special for PvP. I do a lot of PvP in the early game to level up. It's much quicker Q and uh, a couple stuns and such so yeah not too bad i've been doing a lot of pvp it's it's usually pretty good in pvp if you cannot get just hammered by melee or a stronger build um i'm in the dungeon queue right now nothing's popped up so once we get into a dungeon i'll throw some footage on that and uh, maybe a footage of a pvp game a battleground or something um but yeah this would definitely be a uh, viable build for a lot if you can tweak it to your liking a little bit better and get the correct build uh, also doing a little bit of uh, min-maxing would probably be really good as well. The moon conforms for nice because it gives you a little extra as well. Um, also, if you get hit by melee, the extra armor is handy. Plus, you can go in and out of it to remove your slows. Um, just like a cat form, bear form, going to that, and it removes a uh, movement impairing effect, so that's pretty sweet. So yeah, stay tuned to show you a little bit of a dungeon and a PvP, maybe a battleground probably. Maybe we'll do arena. And, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Alrighty, boys, we finally got into one. It's take a little while. Just wonder what was going on. Nobody was, uh, playing or something. Right, we're only got half a squad here. Or, right, let's see how the, uh, Ice Lances do. They seem to be going well timed, this, this area. Yeah, the only thing really sucks is we never got that conflagrate. Or however you say it. Um, oh, he reflected that. Um... Because that would be really nice with like a multi chaos bolt build. Ooh. It is nice to launch like five of them at once, but they don't really do a lot compared to the frost bolt. The frost bolt ice lanch combo. Oh, hi, boys. Oh, they're doing a lot more than they did on the, uh, the training dummy. Oh, he reflected that little bitch. Pull out a little of the heels to help out everyone. Ooh, that was a big pull. Good job, guys. Just in time. Nice. All right, boys, here we go. We did drop a lot of our PvP gear, so hopefully we're still relevant in here. Uh, where's my... I don't remember where the uh, PvP thing is. Oh, there it is at the top. Oh, so still we have a lot, but we still have to uh, proceed with caution. Oh, yeah, he's gonna... Yeah. All right, well, we're about to die already, boys. Yeah, he is. He's angry. He's an angry elf. Damn. Alrighty, boys, we're doing a little bit better on this this uh, battleground here. We just started it, but we got four bases already. Uh, I like this map, too. I'm not a big fan of a lot of the snow maps and games, but this map's nice. It's a, a different take on a classic. They really do need to add some more maps in this game, though. I think even um, retail, there's really not a lot. Maybe, like, one or two more. A little bit strange, but I know PvP doesn't really get too much love anymore. Hi, boys. Can see baby. 